This is a fantastic area. I tell you why, it's very well connected. There's a lot of great pubs, bars and restaurants, loads of places to go shopping, lots to see and do, lots of condos at very reasonable prices, and best of all, there aren't that many foreigners. A few weeks ago, I did a video about areas in Bangkok where there aren't that many foreigners living there. And I got lots of good feedback and lots of emails asking me to cover more areas. So here we are in Lard Prao. Anyway, I also got a few messages from people saying they wanted to live amongst the locals. So first, we're going to head for Soy One. Soy 2, there's not a lot to see down here. It leads to Vipawadi Rangsit Road, but there is St. John's Church here if you're into a bit of confession for your sins. And when I asked a lady here what time confession was, she confessed that they'd scrapped confession because no one was confessing. So it uh, stands to reason, doesn't it? But I must confess, I was lying. They do do confession, but uh, I must confess that I didn't ask what time it was. Interesting place to eat and drink. That place is called Pathé. Famous for playing vinyl records, having album covers stuck to the walls. And when you walk in and sit down, they give you a plate of salted peanuts with chopped fresh chili and salt on the side. So not only is that delicious, but it leaves you gasping for more beer. This is Lard Prow Soy 5 slash 1 and if you remember my first ever video I was here and on these walls was lots of graffiti. A few pieces were done recently at the time and now they've been painted over. It's been done recently, I can smell the paint anyway. And I'm just wondering how is this going to go down in the graffiti world? Is it going to be shock horror or is it just going to be a case of coming back and doing another piece on these walls? Unless, of course, it's anti-graffiti paint, if, uh, if that exists.
Very important heads up I'm going to give you now. Here we have Big C and Home Pro. If you're moving around here and looking for curtains, Home Pro are doing a sale at the moment on odd curtains, so not pairs, but the ones they've got are the massive floor to ceiling ones, and that's great because they keep the light out properly and they're really cheap. Also in there is a branch of ECC, so if you're thinking of doing a bit of part-time teaching on the side and don't mind working for peanuts, I'm sure they'll entertain your application. Do you know what the great thing is about areas like Lard Prow is down all the side soys. There are lots of smaller apartment buildings. All you've got to do is have a look on Google Earth and zoom in. And those smaller apartment buildings, some of the rents on those are almost half of the ones I'm only showing you. And the reason why I'm showing you the tall, attractive looking buildings is because those are the ones that usually attract people to come and move to an area. I know it sounds a bit uh, superficial, but it's true. And I'm not affiliated with any of these condos, by the way. This map is really interesting, I'll tell you why. Because it's got all the new lines marked on it, but because they're not open yet, they're covered in a bit of tape. So as they open, they'll peel off the tape. What I did three years ago in this exact spot was I took the tape off all the new lines so it'd confuse people. So anyone looking at the map would think they could get a train to Minbury or a train to Chengwatan or Soy 28, but obviously not. And it'd confuse foreigners thinking they could get a train to the immigration office. So uh, a very cheeky of me, but I'm a bit of a rascal deep inside. The very busy Ratchet Lard Prow intersection. This is where the MRT station is as well. There's about five different entrances to it. Construction work is going on up there for the MRT yellow line, and they're building a tight curve. so. The line can turn right from La Prow Road into the terminal station, which is alongside Ratchet and Pisek Road. Should be open in a couple of years' time. That will vastly improve transport links again. And what we're going to do now is walk back the way we came, but I'm going to hang around until it gets a bit darker, and then you can get a good idea of the area, what it's like once the sun goes down. So we're back at the top end of Live Prow Road and this is pretty much where it all goes down. This is where the pubs, bars, acoustic lounges, there's a roof garden bar, there's eating and drinking places outdoors with live music up near the MRT station. You've got Union Mall for shopping, you can buy everything in there, you've got street food, independent shops, there's so much around here that makes the place a very self-contained area. So I'll always recommend Live Prow. Well, 
Well, I hope you like the look of Live Prowl. It's just warming up around here on a Friday night. I'll be looking at other areas of the city where there are less foreigners living there and have reasonable prices for renting somewhere to live. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to support the channel and buy me a coffee, that would be absolutely fantastic. Or you can join the channel and become a member. That just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, I will see you soon.